up as a woman, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and today I'm gonna explain you why this happens. Why sometimes, for apparent no reason, your iPhone display gets super dim, sometimes even completely black. And no matter what you do, it doesn't get back to normal. So you may lock your iPhone and unlock it. You may even pull down the control center and increase the brightness all the way up and it's still like that, super dim, almost unreadable, and I'm sure you're gonna love why. Okay guys, so in 99% of scenarios, this happens simply because your iPhone is getting too warm. It's because of the internal temperature of your iPhone. So let me actually increase my brightness because I don't have this problem right now, so I can give you further details. Okay, so if you open up this website, which is a page on Apple support, the official Apple support, we have here this section saying, if your device gets too warm. And if we scroll down a bit, you see that you might notice these changes, and one of them is this one. As you can see right here, the display dims or goes black among many other things as well that we're gonna mention and cover in this video too. So, these that we're seeing, those changes are actually for protection. Your iPhone and your iPad, they have those built-in protections to prevent overheating and actually protect your device. And this is actually much more common than people think. So, if you are, for example, outdoors and if you are using your camera taking photos and videos and you have like direct sunlight hitting your iphone it's very likely that this will happen your iphone display will dim and even if you increase the brightness it will not go to high brightness as you can see right here and that's simply because a full brightness display will cause a lot of heat because it will demand a lot from the battery so your iphone would just prevent you from doing that it would just block that feature altogether and many more things can cause your iphone to get too warm you may be gaming for example in a graphic intense game for example and this may happen even if you are indoors for example and even if you have the AC on, maybe you are in your car, driving, using your iPhone for navigation, there's a chance it will get you warm and this will happen as well. So this is super common and it may actually happen to you. It may have happened and maybe you didn't even notice, all right? But how can you actually check? How can you actually verify if that's the case? Guys, it's super simple because as I said, there are other built-in protections and the easiest way to check that is by checking if you can enable your flashlight. That's right, because when you are at that state of heat protection, your flashlight won't work. So then you can simply try and enable your flashlight, as you can see right here, if it fires up, then that's not the case. If it doesn't, that's a confirmation that in fact, your iPhone is too warm. And of course, there are other things as well, as you can see, so charging, including and especially wireless charging, will slow or even stop if you are at that state. Your cellular radios will also go to a low power state, so your signal right here may weaken, so if you're trying to make a call, it may be a very bad call, bad reception. Your 4G, 5G may fluctuate as well a little bit, and of course, performance. So then iOS or iPadOS, of course, will throttle your processor and make your iPhone or iPad slower, just like you have on low power mode as well, which will also do that and affect your device performance. So then what you should do is pretty obvious is if you are at that state, go ahead and try and cool down your iPhone. So stop using it. Just stop using it right now because overheating is super, super bad for your battery and for many of the components of your iPhone. So just stop using it right away. If you are outdoors, shield, protect your iPhone from the sun and just try and make it cool down, okay? Don't put it in the freezer or the fridge or anything like that because this temperature shock will be even worse. So let it cool down normally without using it and in just a few minutes or even seconds, your iPhone will go back to normal. But then you may say, yeah, Daniel, but that's not my case. Even though I can't increase my brightness, my display is super dark, 
but my iPhone is not hot, it's not hot to the touch, it's kind of cold actually, it's normal, it's behaving normally, I can turn on my flashlight and so on, so my iPhone is fully normal, it's just the display brightness. So then, if that's your case, if even at full brightness right here, your iPhone is not like that, super bright, it's still dark, then you probably have an iOS issue or a hardware issue, and I do recommend that you go ahead and reset your iPhone. So go ahead and follow this card, link in the description, where I show you step by step how to back up your iPhone, save all your data, of course, restore your iPhone, and then recover everything back up, all right? And this will probably solve the issue. If it doesn't, then it's definitely a problem with the display itself, so you will need to take to Apple, all right? So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye.